Hi, it's Daniel from WP Face Pages, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the navigation for the header and footer section of your fan pages. Right now, we are on dashboard from our WordPress installation. First, go to the left hand side, open Appearance, and click on Menus. Right now, we are in the menu section. First, we need to give it a name so that for my example, this will be Facebook header. And after that, just click on Create Menu. So, our first menu has been created, but it won't show up because we don't have selected any menu items and we haven't assigned that to a theme location. And here you can see on the left hand side there are the theme locations and the first one is Facebook head and navigation. So we are going to click on the drop down menu, select the menu we just created and click on save. To add any items to your navigation you can do that within this page too. Just scroll down and now on the left hand side you can see custom links where you can create custom links and add that to the menu. We have the pages and we have categories. And as you can see the one which is missing are the Facebook fan pages. If that happened to you then just scroll up to the top, click on screen options and then check the box beside Facebook fan pages. Close screen options, scroll down and now you can see Facebook fan pages box and here you can select any page you want to add to the navigation. So this is our Facebook header navigation. For that I want to add the sales page and some other pages. Just click the ones you want to add and click on add to menu. Now these pages have been added to our Facebook head navigation. If you want to reorder these items just click on one, hold your mouse and then move up or down as you can see now what I'm doing here and then if it's in the position you want to have it, just leave the mouse again and your navigation will be reordered. If you want to create a drop down menu, like I will do here, then just click on the one you want to move. In my example it's a sample page post. I will click on that one and I want to make it as a drop down menu for a sales page. I'm moving it up on the new sales page and then I'm just moving it a bit to the right and then leave my mouse right there. Right now the sample pay text post will be a sub menu or a drop down menu for sales pages. The same I'm going to do it with the lists. I will have the unordered list as first and then I'm going to assign the, a post with an ordered list as a drop down menu for the unordered list. And for this exam for this video I'm going to take a post with an image and place it underneath sample text post so that I have a bit a bigger um, drop down menu. Okay after this is done go and click on save menu. Now this menu has been saved then I will go and check that. For that I'm going to open a new tab with my Facebook pages are created here. Click on the view and as you can see we have the top navigation with the sales page and unordered list. And if I hover over it, 
then it will have a drop down menu here and also here but right now that doesn't look very nice because it's on two lines and the uh, drop down they just can have one line so I'm going to change that first a post with an image that was a bit too long so I'm going to rename that just to post with image save menu going back to my fan page reload and then <coughs> I can check if it's if it fits as you can see now it looks much better when it fits just on one line I'm going to do the same with here with a post with an ordered list going back to my navigation open it and then just rename that to post on or I'm just going to rename that an ordered list save it again going to reload and if I hover over now it looks much nicer uh, now it fits in on one line. If you want to add um, a navigation here to the footer, we go back to our menu creation page, then at the top click on the plus sign to create a new navigation. I will name that Facebook footer. Click on create menu and the first thing to do is I need to assign that to the Facebook footer navigation so I click that drop down menu and choose the Facebook footer menu I just created as with the menu before I need to select some items for that one and for my example I will choose the privacy policy contact us and about us page Add that to the menu and as you can see here now the menu has been created and the pages are added click on save menu and now we have a full navigation just <coughs> a side note for the full navigation this isn't a drop down navigation so you won't be able to add any items underneath another like that like we had before you can do that here on in the admin section but it won't show up within your fan page so it's just a normal navigation like that let's save changes go back to our welcome page reload and right now you can't see it because we haven't styled it yet but if I highlight it, you can see the items have been added to the navi food navigation. So we go back to our admin section, go to the WP Face Pages admin page, and then go to General Display Options. Here I can change the background for the footer or I can disable the footer background. I will disable that right now, save all changes, go back to our fan page, reload it and as you can see it's here but you still can't see it because we need to change the color for the footer. Okay we are back and uh, option settings for our, for our fan page we go to fan page typica typography and then scroll down to the fan page footer section as you can see here for the fan page footer you can style the four you can give it another size the four type and the color and here are the fan page link color within the footer which has a 
color you, can't, you couldn't see before we're going to change that to black click on the sign so we have it and if it if you hover over it I'm going to change that to red so that you can see the different and then save all changes go back to my fan page reload and as you can see now we have the photo navigation added to our fan page and if I hover over it the color will change to red that's it for this video and within the next videos I'm going to show you how to style all the typography for your fan page adding a rating box and I will also show you all the other features thanks and have a nice day